Hey guys, it's Tom Howard here from 410 Productions. This will be video two in our Photoshop tutorial series for absolute beginners. Um, if you're here for the first time and you haven't seen the first video yet, I suggest that you go watch that. Um, I've included the link below this photo and there's a pop-up. should be up now. Click on that if you want. I recommend it. So today we're going to start right where we left off. We're going to open up. We're going to open up the photo we were working on last time. Today we're going to basically go over a lot of brush stuff, how to change colors, painting on new layers, preserving photo data. All that stuff is going to be covered today. Just a bunch of good stuff. First things first is changing the brush color. We're going to head over here to our tool palette. We're going to click on the brush. If you hover over it, you'll see all the shortcut keys like you can go brush tool, spot healing, all this stuff. Brush tool shortcut is B. I'm going to be using that from now on. So again, the shortcut key for brush is B. So to change the color of the brush, it's very easy. You have a lot of different ways to do it. And really no way, one way is that much better than the other. I have my preferred way. I'm sure you're going to have your preferred way. Um, my preferred way is to just double click on the color and this allows me to pick any color I want I can go any like shade and then anything in that shade of blue I can go really dark really light like anything um, and it gives me all my RGB data so I can copy this I can write that down and now anywhere else I go whether I'm building my like putting together my website or something like that I can now use that same color that I used in my composition in my website. I can also add this to my swatches. We'll go over swatches later on in this tutorial actually. Um, so you will know what that means. And then you have OK, which will set your new color to your foreground color or your brush color. And you have cancel, which will keep it at the current color. Um, so we're going to hit OK. And now our brush is set to that color. So now when we when we like draw on our photo, you'll see we have that blue color. Another way to pick colors for your brush is to come over here in your essentials setup, which you can see are up here. I have essentials selected. You'll have colors and swatch up here. Color, you can click and drag and make adjustments to your uh, your foreground color like this. And as you can see, as I dragged certain sliders, the other sliders' colors change. Um, over here in swatches, you can pick from a selected amount of colors. Like, grab the if you just click on red, now your brush is red. You click on purple, you're draw, drawing in purple, dark blue, you get the idea. Um, now if you want to make a new swatch that you'll be able to access at any time, you come over here, double click, make adjustments to the color, you can make it light blue, like a really nice light blue, add to swatches, give it a name, um, now let's say you're designing a logo or something, you can call it logo main color, okay, now if you hit okay, you'll see your color is now over here and if you hover over it you'll get logo main color you click that you'll always have access to this now if you ever want to make adjustments now one issue when you use the brush tool directly on the image is I've lost all the data behind that so if I do this unless I want to step back the entire way and uncover what's behind this if I try and erase this it's going to erase to white instead of my image. Now, if you want to preserve your image, you're going to have to do something called creating a layer and use all your brush on that layer. Now, we're going to close this out. We're not going to save the changes and we're going to reopen that photo. From here, we're going to create our new layer. 
by coming down here to the right hand side and clicking on the little sticky note icon and you'll see it pop up in your layers pane from here make sure you have your layer selected it'll be dark darker than all the other layers in your composition go over here select your brush tool you can pick your color out of your swatches or double clicking in here I'm gonna go red and now when you brush real quick when you brush onto something you'll have the ability to then erase just that color instead of erasing the whole image now let's focus on the layer panel for a minute um, in the layer panel you'll see a list of your layers you'll see you have your background layer and right now your current painting layer next to the layer names you'll see a layer preview you'll see that on this layer we have a red drawing up here and on this layer we have our image to the left of that you'll see the eye icon now this controls if a layer is hidden if you click the eye icon it changes the layer visibility so you turn that back on you can turn our background on and off and over to the right here you'll see if a layer is locked in any way our background image is locked at this point and our foreground like our layer one is not if you double click the lock you can unlock that and now you have two layers that are equally editable from here in the layers panel you can also rearrange your layers so if you click and drag a layer you put it to the bottom this helps you order things and if you want certain things to be behind certain things like let's say for example I want to put a blue layer behind that I'm going to create a new layer and this one showed up behind it so I don't have to rearrange it but just for the sake of a tutorial let's put that layer in front grab a blue grab our brush and draw on it as you can see at this point our blue color is in front but if I grab that layer drag it to in between layer one and our background image the blue immediately just drops behind it now if I want to go back to just our base image I'm gonna delete each layer and without having to step back or do any of that we're back to our original image All right. Well, we'll go into a lot more detail in our next tutorial, but that'll be good for video two. I'm Tom Howard from 410 Productions, signing off.